Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. Back with you with another episode. Um, wanted to show you a quick tip and trick that I use um, to help improve the quality of life of using the ROG. Now some of you guys probably drive this daily and don't have access to maybe a, a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse um, and are just using this maybe right analog stick to navigate your desktop. Now, one of the frustrations that I have is, let's just say I only have like this device. I don't have anything connected to it. I can definitely open up folders using the triggers and those open up the folders just fine. But what gets me is, let's just say I'm navigating like Steam, right? Obviously I've got touch controllers. What happens is, you know, now, I can't control that interface anymore. Nothing. But if I go back to my desktop, you know, it's fine and dandy. I can control it. But if I go back to my Steam, nada. I just can't. So I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse attached to it. And obviously, if you have that set up, it's no problem. You can navigate. But if you don't, this is fine, but you go to your Steam and nothing. So there's an app, it's called Controller Companion. So let me go ahead and show you what that app is. Again, it's not sponsored, they don't pay me. I just found it, use it, and just wanted to share that with the community here. So it's called Controller Companion, okay? Now, if you live in the States, it's only $2.99, $2.99. Well worth your money. Totally worth it. And basically what the app does, it just shows you, hey, you can control your ROG with just your controller alone. Okay, so I already have it installed. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Okay. So I'm going to hit launch. Now here's the cool part. Now that I've now that I'm launching it, you're gonna see now I'm gonna go back to my desktop here. Still have access to you know, obviously I still have that, but look at this. If I go to my Steam now, I can navigate the user interface. Now the the movement now is is defaulted to the left analog stick. You can customize it and change it, but look how cool that is, right? Now I can navigate what I need to do. And what's cool is you just kind of go back and forth between the desktop and, and your other windows that you need to use, okay? So you still have access to that. See, that doesn't affect that, but if you go to your Steam, Let me zoom in a little bit. You now can control all of that. So let's just say I need to move this game here from my you know, hard drive, my internal hard drive to maybe the SD card. Now the buttons will change a little bit now instead of using the triggers, it's gonna be using the X and B button. So I'll go ahead and press the, the X button. Okay, you can see this. I'm gonna press the X button I go to properties, X, I'm oh, sorry, B to enter the command. And then I can go to my install files, B, and then I can move the folder to the external drive, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it only takes a little bit of time. All right. So there you have it. Um, again, it's called Controller Companion. Let's see, it's almost done moving that. 
file over. I guess we're doing this in real time. Perfect. So again, well worth the two dollars and ninety nine cents, three bucks to buy it, um, and you'll thank me for it. Okay. So again, it's just a good way to be able to navigate your desktop and also when you go into your other apps like Steam you don't have to bring along a keyboard or mouse it just controls with your left analog stick all right don't forget to like subscribe and comment it really helps the channel out and thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next show bye for now